forearm and the neck, which is a common response from somebody trying to break down your punch defenses to create space using a frame structure to then be able to again strike again. So we're gonna use their breakdown of our guard defenses as an opportunity to start attacking limbs that they're presenting for us or next like we showed previously with the, with the cross choke. Okay, so from here, I'm in the level one punch defense position and my opponent starts to put a form in my neck to create space and this begins to happen. As he creates that space, I know that he's gonna start loading up in that arm position. So first thing I need to be aware of is that this is starting to strangle me, okay? I cannot let his weight keep crushing my throat. So I'm gonna use my legs to create a little bit of space and ease the pressure off of the choke. So as he's driving in, my legs are extended, creating space. Secondly, my hand is gonna frame over the top of that forearm. So his, I'm trapping his forearm there and I'm holding him in this position, creating space between us as well. So this is the arm. The arm that he is trying to forearm choke you with or to hold you down with is the arm that we're gonna attack. Once I feel him drive forward and open up, I need to move my head out of alignment. So I'm going to reach for his leg and I'm going to pivot my body around to bring my hips up on the shoulder of the arm that I'm attacking. So I grab the leg, open, get my hips around that shoulder, and then my leg comes around his head and holds the posture down. Now from here, I can control both arms if I need to, but I'm attacking the arm lock on the bottom arm. So I control his wrist line, I hold my heels down tight, and I pinch my knees. And then I begin to extend from here to get the arm lock finish. If I want to continue to bring him down, I steer his head to the mat. Using the hook on his head, I can steer his weight to the ground and then finish the arm lock from a position where he's pro on his back. So again, level one, he forearms in, I create space, go cut the angle, bring my leg around the head position. And then now I can finish the arm lock here. I can hold both arms if I feel like I need some more safety or I can sweep. And then from here, finish the arm lock from here as well.